Yeah. YouTube, what's up? It's your boy, Bella Black Angler. All right, here's what you know. You know I love porkies. I like catching them, cooking them, and I love eating them. Here's something else you know. I recently went on the Long Island Sound with the fishing addicts. And man, did we have a great time. We caught porkies. Caught a lot of porgies. So here's something else you know. When those buckets got full, I went home, I filleted up a couple, I fried those bad boys up, made some seasoned stir fried cabbage on the side, some onions and some sweet red peppers, and I took it over the top with mac and cheese. But here's something that you don't know. I'm from the Caribbean, a little island called St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. Beautiful place, beautiful people, great food. So today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna make a Caribbean style stew fish. Yeah, the black angler way, of course. So for this recipe, you're gonna need the whole entire fish. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna clean your fish, scale it thoroughly all over. And you have to gut the fish and clean out all the insides. <laughs> if you're not into cleaning your own fish, you can always have them clean it for you at the fish market. But you wanna get up in there, you wanna get all that messy stuff out. Next up, your season. You're gonna need ketchup, salt, green seasoning, sasson, pepper, tomato sauce, some oil, and mango pepper sauce. Something else that's very helpful when cooking this fish is cutting three slits on each side. This allows the fish seasoning to get in and the oil to cook the fish thoroughly. Season that bad boy thoroughly. Black pepper, salt, and sasson. Okay. Now, with your oil at 350 degrees, you're gonna drop that bad boy. And look at the seasoning on it. And look how it's bubbling. Beautiful. Also, you wanna fry this naked. No cornmeal, no flour. Just seasoning and in the pot. For this recipe, I like my fish well, well done. Golden brown on each side and crispy. At this point, remove your fish from the pot, drain some of the oil and leave a little bit for your vegetables. On a medium to high flame, you're gonna drop your vegetables. Tomatoes, sweet red peppers, green peppers, two cloves of crushed garlic, one half of a yellow onion. You want those flavors to seep into the oil. You want your vegetables to be almost translucent. This is the point when you're ready to start building the base for your stew. Next up, you're gonna drop in one of the major staples of Caribbean cooking, and that's green seasoning. And it consists of parsley, spring of onions, cilantro, thyme, basil, garlic, scotch bonnet, and onions. Mix it around, get it up in there good because it adds tons of flavor to the stew. Ketchup, yep, ketchup, you're gonna need it, it's important. About a tablespoon and a half. And some tomato sauce. 
about a quarter cup should do it. Add three quarter cups of water and your base is starting to come together. All you have to do now is just mix it up. Get those ingredients stirred up in there. Get that water, that ketchup, that tomato sauce. Just mix it up and bring it to a nice little bubble. Secret ingredients coming up next. Yep, mango pepper sauce. I did this by eye like I do everything else, but it's about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons. And it's gonna add a little bit of sweet and a little bit of spice. A little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and you're almost ready to drop that fish. Look at it bubble. Mm. Go ahead, lay that fish down, get it in there. Nice. So gently, you want to cover the fish with the stew, with the sauce, the whole fish. Bang, bang, bang. Look at that beautiful thing. Just let it simmer and bubble five minutes and you're good. So there you have it. This rice and beans are paired nicely with this stewed fish. I can't wait to dig in. Come on, man. I see. I see you licking your lips. This is a beautiful thing. Look at that. Caribbean style stewed fish, rice and beans. For all of the recipes, all you have to do is look down below in the description. I have the recipe for each dish with instructions. It's your boy, Bell the Black Angler. I love you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Be you. Stay up. Peace. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, watch my IGTV channel, like and subscribe on YouTube.